Hey guys, my name is Sidiak and welcome back to another episode of Prison Architect as we continue to build our little mini city. Last episode, we had some huge riots all kicking off right now and as we can get in a little bit closer, we've kind of seemed to got rid of the majority of the dead bodies. Uh, the jackals are waiting for the yard time to be increased by so many hours, so we're going to see another riot kicking off. But we had a taste! We finally had a taste of security in the prison. We got our danger levels right down to amber, which means that none of the prisoners were complaining about security and feeling like unsafe. And for that period of time, it was bliss. It was beautiful. Things happened. Things worked. There was peace. But then they, one of the gangs, the purple gang, had demands and they didn't meet them and they rioted and now we're back to angry, angry danger levels. Look, I'm all kicking off right now. But our brand new houses over here are almost ready to rock and roll. We've got all the road in, the grass, the path. We've just got to build all the stuff on the inside, which is slowly being delivered. Uh, the current workers right now are working on getting all the roads in and then eventually all the grass and the fences all around here. Uh, which, again, takes a little bit of time, but we are closer than ever. We should be able to get this done this episode. And hopefully we can bring down these danger levels. Now, these danger levels will take some time because uh, of the recent riot that did happen. But uh, we'll see how long it takes, and then we should be able to get it all sorted. So they're waking up for the day. They're super angry. They need their safety. There's going to be a little war going on in a minute anyway. So, yeah. <laughs> I can't really do much about the danger levels to begin with at the minute. So, uh, workers are bringing a load of uh, items right now to start installing into all these houses. And then we can officially start moving more prisoners in and start building up the capacity uh, of the prison itself. So, this stuff will take some time. There's a lot of items. A lot of it is now being delivered. There's lights, there's plants, there's jail doors, there's more jail doors, there's benches. Uh, but it's all being delivered to the delivery area. Then it will be installed uh, very, very soon. But uh, yeah, prisoners coming in. We might have too many prisoners for this canteen. We might need to build a new canteen to be able to get a few more people over there. So we'll just kind of see what, uh, how much it, they food they take away from this. Yes, they do take away a lot, which means there's no, not really any food available left in here. We have enough seats in. I just need another, another serving tray by the looks of it. So, am I able to squeeze in another serving tray or would this take away a little bit too much right now? I reckon uh, what I could do is get rid of all these snack machines. Now, I know they're pretty handy, but we're sorting stuff out right now. So, we should be able to, you know, get more in. These have four. Which, are they now starting to cook up some more food? No, I think we'll, we'll get away with it in there. And then the other one's over here. We have four over here as well. Which, to be honest with you... They're not cooking anymore right now, so we have enough food. I want to assume, but I reckon we could still do one more. So what I'll do... That bench will dismantle. The table will dismantle. This bench will dismantle. Dismantle. It's it's quite difficult to select what I want to select. And we're trying to add some more in there. So just be able to provide more food. So more prisoners can, can be fed. That's what we need to do. I'm going to add one in here as well once all this is being kind of uh, dismantled too. Are they coming in now to do it? No. They're just running past like lunatics. The fact that they're bringing out more food just shows that we just don't have enough food available. So we need more buffet tables. And I will build another canteen. Because these guys over here are going to need some more food as well. Uh, the amount of people getting over there. So I might need to build a smaller canteen within this vicinity. But we've got a lot to get done. We've also got to do a lot of the, um, the waterworks and the plumbings as well. Are you stuck there, sir? <laughs> that workman was a little bit stuck then for a second. So we've got to give it some time. Got to give it some sweet, sweet time. So, uh, their demands are now about to happen. So where are they kicking off? Is it down here? Yep, in here it's kicking off. They're always going to kick off, boys. They're always going to kick off. Now, I did have some armed guards. What happened to those? Do I still have the armed guards? 
Um, yes, I do. They're in various locations, I assume. So you, you are... Okay, actually, you're quite far away. <laughs> we'll try and get him over here. We'll try and put some free fire on. Which will oof some of the some of them. And we'll get some chaos sorted out. Oh my god, that arm guard there's going mental. He has popped a load of fools right now. Right, a lot of them are injured. He's also injured. But let's get him over to here. And sort this dude out in the shower. Oh, I'll get him over here. Whoo! Damn! Where's he gone now? Where did he go? Right, I need him in here now. And then we've taken care of this riot. <laughs> oh, the destruction that I cause. No wonder people are complaining about security levels in my prison. No wonder they're complaining right now. Right, can we get them in here? The guards? To try and sort or, or get rid of these angry danger levels. Where's the rest of my riots now happening? Apparently, oh, in the kitchen. <laughs> They've kicked all the all the chefs outside. Oh, that's hilarious. They've kicked all the chefs outside. Right, I need uh, another armed guard. I'm trying to scan around right now for some armed guards. Yoo hoo! There's one. Right, you, sir, can you be the savior? right now. I can't believe they've kicked all the chefs outside. They're like, you get outside right now. This is this is our kitchen. This is our kitchen right now. We 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 choose the meals that we want. Right, here he comes. Here he comes. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Is this legal? No, is the answer. Right, you're going to sort these guys out. Oh, damn, he kicking off as well. They've got even more keys. At least the chefs can come back in. Right, get over here, boys. Before it all goes down again. There we go. That got sorted out pretty quick. Right, let's get rid of the free fire right now. So that would have got rid of a lot of gang members. <laughs> That's your boy's way of fighting crime. That's your boy's way of fighting crime right now. Right, how are we doing over here then? We can't be too far away right now with all of our builders. We can't be too far away. So, oh, we got still got to try and find these tunnels that they're uh, slowly digging up. Um, something we haven't done before is the guard investigation. Work with our CIs, so let's call in right now and in guard investigation. The more crook guards uh, you will expose, the chief must not uh, uh, sniff out corruption. The more coverage your active CIs have, the more crook guards you will expose. The chief must not be hosting a program or attending an execution. Right, let's see what we can find, boys. So we're investigating all the guards right now. Oh, 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 oh. We discovered a crook guard working it with a gang. I've marked them in the staff reports. Oh, we found another one. So, in staff reports? What's that? What is a staff report? Uh, staff... 
Aha. So you are on break, sir. But you are. A, 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 is he a snitch? What's the, what's the best way? Is he, no, he's a crooked guard. Okay, there's actually quite a few of them, isn't there? Right, can somebody open this door, please? I needed to change these. Didn't I? I needed to change them to the, where they're just normal doors that they can open. The downsides are not having somebody walking, walking, uh, working on the uh, control door system. You're actually finding quite a few crooked guards. That's not good. All right, we'll, we'll still let this investigation continue. Can somebody work here, please? So we can get these doors open. I bet you the dude who's trying to get over here to work is stuck on these doors. What happened there? Damn. Jumping around like that. Right, open door. Right, the doors are now opening, guys. The doors are now opening. <laughs> Yo, we've found so many crook guards right now. Somebody. Uh, well, I say somebody. A lot of people are now getting the boot. A lot of them are now getting the boot. I don't care what anybody says right now. We've got 25 dead bodies we got to get rid of as well. Right, we are firing so many guards right now. Here we go. So, crook guards be gone. Fire. Fire. Actually, start from the bottom. It's easier. So, is it only guards? It's not like um, any of the other types, is it? Oh, you're dead or any Anyway. You're dead. Oh, crook guard fight. Yo, you get money for this? What? Right, I think that's all of them, right? Yeah, the one down there is dead. You get money for crook guards? Oh my god, four thousand five hundred big ones a pop? Was that was that no? That's what I had in total, wasn't it? But I didn't realize you get money for them. Interesting. Very interesting. So, are we got this done yet, guys? What's 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 the issue? This is the downside of making these houses so elaborate. There's so much work that, that's involved with getting them all built. There really is. Um, I could probably do work, more work, man. Look at the amount of stuff in my inventory right now that needs to be uh, installed. <laughs> so this is crazy. We've got rid of a bunch of crooked guards right now. And that's something that we'd have to try and keep on top of. We really have to try and keep on top of that. Uh, that's now been uninstalled. So serving trays... I can get three more in. The canteen over here. Oh, there's one more. Did I not? I didn't select this one to be dismantled. Damn it! Four. Uh, that one there. I can add another one here if I also dismantled this bench. The one side of it. I could maybe get some more in. And the other canteen, which was over here. Could this benefit from one? It's really got four in anyway, so that's pretty good. I think we'll be fine on that one. But yeah, we do need to build another one at some point. Uh, oh, they dismantled it over here as well. Objects. Serving tables. Uh, bam. Bam. I'm just going for it, okay? I'm just going for it. So, what's missing in all this? I mean, I've still got to do all the electric, electrical grid and all that. Uh, they're bringing people... No, no, I was about to say, they're bringing people over here. No, they're bringing a water thing in. It's need to be searched. That did, apparently. But I've got to, I've got to install all the, all the electrical grid, all the plumbing, which that's going to take some time. 
But I wait for everything to be. Oh, we found the tunnel! It was that one. That whole time. Holy moly, were they digging. They were doing some serious digging, boys. Alright, there we go. At least we can get all that sorted right now. One less tunnel to worry about. Right, so we've got to bring these anger levels down at some point. So big reasons are there's 19 armed guards in service. That's always going to be a, a massive factor at the minute. Five piece of people have been recently killed, which is never too good. Um, a lot of prisoners feel suppressed. That is got to be down to the armed guards. Now, how big do you reckon the Purple Gang is at this point? 56 members. It's, it's never been as small as it is right now. It, never, it hasn't been as small as it is right now. So this is good. So is it worth me now getting rid of some of the armed guards? One, it saves me a bit of money. I'll get rid of all of them. I know last time they all rioted big time, but it does reduce my, my, my danger levels dramatically. And then less prisoners feel suppressed. And things go back to normal again. Right, I'll get rid of that. So, we'll see how long it lasts. We'll see how long it lasts. Right, they're moving. Is that a protective custody? Yeah, because... Oh, because I haven't made these. So, what is it? Min, max... Is it this? Yeah. I forgot I had to do all that. For the cells, because it puts protective custody in there. Oh, these are all built, by the way. Right, great. So now, we've got to sort the electrical grid out. So if I just do this, which should cover everything, I hope. We'll just do it like that. And then, what? oh, what grid are we connecting it to? Now, to this grid is to the... Oh, yeah, perfect. Okay, we're connecting to that one there. So, well, we'll do the same on this one. Bringing that down to there. Now, the waterworks... Free and free. Run these pipes all down. That's got to go down that way. And then the smaller ones, which can be a pain to get done. We'll get all these connected. Might as well get all the plumbing all set up right now so they can begin working on it. Uh, down, across. I wish, right, you had the option to clone utilities. Why is that not a thing in this game? How long, how many, this game's been out over like 10 years. Why do we not have the option to clone utilities? I will never know. I will never know. There's got to be a mod on the workshop I'll let you clone utilities right has to be just make life so much more easier just when i get to clone just give me a checkbox do i want to clone all utilities underneath it yes yes please right okay it's sleep time look at the danger levels right now they've never been so low they have never been so freaking low and uh, as time goes on less and less prisoners will get suppressed so it will increase the danger levels right now um, as they all wake up, they're all rowdy. They all want to start fighting. But a lot of them are now going to start requiring um, luxuries. There's been a few deaths recently, so that's going to now increase the danger levels. But ultimately, they'll be able to enjoy some foods. 
and all that jazz. Do I need more? Sh oh, there's a riot. There's been escapes. Hold on. Get some more chefs in here helping out. Right, where's where's it? Okay, I bet it's the gang, isn't it? It is the gang. Where's the escape happened? Did someone manage to run through all of this? God damn it, boys. Why are they got riot so bad? Oh, how many of my guards have they killed? Okay, the downside of not having any armed guards. Let me put free fire on. We're going to have to have a handful of armed guards. Right, get in there, boy. Sort it all out. So many dead bodies. This is death. I'm telling you, this is Death Valley right now. This is not good. <laughs> oh. A part of me just wants to let all the um, the purple prisoners escape. You know what I mean? A part of me wants to do that. Oh dear God! Just see, just when we had it nice and easy, just when we had it nice and easy, that happens. Right? It's eat time. Are more prisoners able to eat now? They're still grabbing their food, so I feel like I need. Some, I just need more chefs. What about the other ones? More chefs to help us out. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Right, anyway. They're dotting around right now. A bunch of building. Building work's underway. Still got plenty to do. But that is something that will eventually get done. Now. These gang members. These gang members, these gang members, these gang members. Part of me just wants them to escape so I can just get rid of them. And they will then leave me alone. You know what I mean? <laughs> but that's, this is all part of the fun. This is all part of the fun, boys. All right, he's been targeted. Wait, has protective custody targeted that dude? What? That's crazy. That is crazy. Right, like they're living life right now. Stuff is now happening. That needs to be repaired. Work's being done. They're still angry because of the, the the anger levels and danger levels. But we're looking okay at the moment ish a little bit. Slightly. Who knows? I wanna cry. <laughs> I wanna slightly cry. So we're just gonna keep pushing forward at the moment. Lots of stuff are on their um, lots of staff are on their break. Quite a lot of staff to be honest with you. We've now got more capacity than prisoners in the prison, which is good to see. We've lost a lot of uh, guards. We're just waiting for the uh, the morgue to be emptied, for our doctors to heal everybody. Oh, it's a tough day, boys. It's a tough day. The leader's being punished for the gang, so the gang's not happy. We're about to get a little payment out for our funds over here. And they've almost got everything they need inside of these dormitories. Oh, I realise that I never actually put flooring in any of these dorm in these um, houses. <clears throat> unbelievable! It's actually unbelievable. Right, so needs. 
A little bit all over the place still. Staff needs bladder and bowels. They've got plenty of toilets. When they come in, they can use them. Hydration's fine. Rest is coming down slowly. The environment's pretty good. So, yeah, I'm actually worried about all that. Oh, staff categories. Work it. Doctors. I didn't realize you can do it like that. Um, minimum security. Supermax. They've got hygiene issues. It's like nobody wants to take a shower. Especially in mornings, they wake up. Shower regime will force prisoners who don't have their own personal shower to go to the nearest shower. If this becomes a problem, consider expanding your shower facilities. I mean, the, sh the fact shower facilities are fine for the Supermax. I think it's because the majority of them are all locked up. Minimum security, it's the same for them as well. But yeah. No one wants the shower. They're all fools. They're all fools. Uh, right, okay, so. We've got to get these danger levels back down again. Um, these now all got power. They're very, very close to getting the water all sorted. This house... Okay, oh! Okay, all the houses have now got water. Great stuff. Oh, they've got the, um, the door things on, the servos. So, I should now be able to... Let's do it to this one. Connect these up there we go none of them have been built yet that just kind of helps out on that front perfect mate perfect it's eat time right now oh where's this one gone so is there plenty of food to go around they're all grabbing their food. They're all still arriving. Safety's still a big concern. But they're all still arriving. They're all grabbing their food. There's plenty now left over. Which is good to see. So we're, we're getting a, a slightly higher percentage in feeding all of our peeps right now. I reckon we can maybe do with one here. But it could be down to the fact that I just need more uh, sh cooks. Even though I've got like a, a gazillion cooks, I just feel like they're not doing anything. It's a weird one. But we got 54, 55. What can we get this number to before it ends? Because that's when we got a reference every time. So it's, it was almost 60% that we fed. Almost 60%. I've got so many chefs, but I just feel like they're nowhere. And now we're going to have a lot of cleaning to do. There's a riot, boys. I'm going to have it where we've got 100 chefs. Might seem excessive, but... I'm going to build... A new canteen soon. Alright, deaths are going down. I know that is 100% in the, in the, um, the gang area. So I think that dispersed... All the chefs. Is that in the gang area? You ready? Yes, of course it is. These freaking gang members, boys. A part of me just wants them all to escape. Because they're causing so many freaking issues right now. Oops, I accidentally slightly to demolish that wall. I wonder what could happen. <laughs> right, let them ride, let them kick off. Let's see what we can get done. Oh, have I just cancelled that, by the way? Oh no, I prioritised it. Anybody want to come and demolish it? Anybody? Yoo-hoo! 
Is there a worker on the way? See that server's over here right now. I can get rid of these deployments. That frees up two additional guards. They're still kicking off. There's some escapes. Oh, through the tunnel! No way! This is crazy. It's just getting mental and mental right now, isn't it? What happens to demolish that wall? Will they not do it because of the riot nearby? Do you reckon that's what it is? Lots more deaths. It's just mainly my guards dying. That's what it is. I'm letting them still riot a bit more anyway. Right, take a while to sort that out. Um, right, armed guards, where are you? Where is he? Right, you, sir. Get in over here. And let's have some free fire on, boy. Right, he's definitely going to get overwhelmed. One armed guard against all these prisoners. He is going to get oofed. So bad. So bad he's going to get oofed. Here he comes. Here he comes. I'm surprised I'm not trying to overwhelm him right now. Oh, wow. There's a one-man army at the moment. Right, get into here, please. All right. Go a bit further. Oh, the thing's open, by the way. Right, deaths. Will they now try and escape? I wonder if they will or not. I wonder if they will or not. So no canteens. What do you mean there's no canteens? There's a canteen here. Oh, is it because it's open right now? Because I've done the wall thing? Maybe. But I just want to know if they will try and escape. I mean, I could accidentally demolish this wall and this wall accidents guys accidents do happen <laughs> and see what happens oh my goodness me right i've lost a lot of guards by the way i've lost a lot of guards right how far they got oh yes finally why do i have these peeps here It shouldn't be like that. Well, that's how it should be, right? So you fools can get out of there. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Right. I just want to see what happens. We've got to see at least one or two of them escape right now, right? Can someone come and demolish this, please? They're still kicking off to a certain extent. Oh, is he going to do it? Yes. You ready for this? You ready? Will they escape now? Here they go. Here they go. Here they go. Here they go. They're out of here, boys. 
So in intelligence, I have 46 of the purple gang members. Now, let them escape. Because they're really, really... I'm really struggling to deal with them. And then once they finish their pun punishments, we'll have a few more escape here and there. And then we can sort out the danger levels. And get back to freaking normal. Right, all these houses are now built. Which does mean I'm going to need a new canteen. I'm going to need a new canteen. Now, I could clone an existing canteen like this one. Which would be pretty easy to do. So, if I clone this, and let's say I drop this here. There's obviously going to be a few things I'm going to need to change. But if I drop that there, or go over to there, because that's where I can build it up to. Let's go for that instead. I can stick a road in the middle, <laughs> and it it's all works perfectly fine. Glorious. And that will be for all of these guys. And maybe a couple of these houses just to take a few peeps away from this one. So that should work out. That should work out. Now we do have um, the ability for people to work in these canteens. So why is, why is no one cleaning in this one? Why is none of these dirty trays being cleaned? Logistics, food distribution. Wait, where's that one going to? That needs to be for this ki this kitchen. Well, that was weird, wasn't it? Well, it needs to be for both. But the fact that he weren't on it means that they're not going to clean any of this stuff. Oh, they've got so many freaking dirty trays to now clean. How long has that been, that issue? I don't know. That's terrible, isn't it? That's terrible to find out that news. Um, right, they've got so many dirty trays to now kind of get through. But they'll get through it. And they will get through it. So they got fresh fruit and veggies. I want to check the other canteens and make sure these are all okay. So, logistics, uh, food distribution... That is to here. Yep. Yep. And it's only really them, isn't it? I mean, I got this one down here and that one up there, but I don't really mind too much about them. I'm more interested in the fact that they're throwing, like, fruit and veg. Well, fruits. Where they can eat. So, will they grab the fruit? Because that'll be interesting. But they've got so many dirty trays to get rid of anyway. That's going to take a long time. But I'm interested to see what happens. When it's eat time again. I'm just watching them go through all these dirty trays. Making nice clean trays. Oh, I must have been spending a fortune on buying new trays all the time. I really must have. So they're still cooking up a storm right now. Eat time's going to be happening very soon. Uh, deployment. Not deployment. Logistics. Prison labor. I mean, I've set it up to give them the ability to work in these places, but no one really wants to take the job. Oh, it's free time. That's why they're not working. Oh, that should carry all that food in just a minute. To the serving trays. Mm. 
All right, eat time, all the food's now being carried over. So I'm looking at almost 60% was the last one. So let's see what happens on this one. Oh yeah, they, they're grabbing fruit. So it does work. And this is from the orchards. That's great. That's real good news. So we're almost at a 60% odd straight away. Over 60% right now, which is good to see. I wonder how far we can push it. I wonder how far we can potentially push this. This this canteen over here is like the big issue. But hopefully when we get the other canteen set up, we've got more distribution of it. Can we get to 75%? Yes. Only 25% of our prisoners haven't eaten yet. So as this is about to end, can we get to 77? 77. Bam. So 23% of prisoners didn't have any food this meal time. That is up dramatically from the last meal time. And they're still bringing food out right now. Because they couldn't keep up with the demands. So this is, this is, it's good to know because it's a lot that I can now work towards and try and improve. So I'm kind of happy about that in, in a weird way. Now, as many more prisoners escaped, these are all now shackled to their cells. So what I'll do is we'll now build the wall to make it all secure so they're free roaming. And then come back in a minute. So prioritize that. As much as we can. And then we'll hopefully try and let them escape again in a minute. <laughs> this is the reason why 25% never eat them. Because these are shackled to their cells. Uh, right, okay. Okay, 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 okay. So it's currently lock-up time right now. So they all should be going to lock-up. As they make their way back to their cells. Very good, very good, very good. And how far do you reckon the way this canteen is right now? I mean, the thing that slows them down from building is doing all the grass and the paving. That dramatically slows them down because there's actually quite a lot that I've uh, opted to add in. So, I hope you can bring these levels down soon. It is now the next day. So there should be a sleep right now where we can now focus on getting a lot of stuff done with no prisoners being out and about. Let's get that repaired. It's been flashing for quite some time. And they're working on getting all the grass in and the paving on that left side now I can see. So we shouldn't take too long. Oh, ton of search. Shouldn't take too long. I'm really surprised about that fruit orchard. There's still lots of fruits down here. I'm wondering if I can get like a... No. Um, I, I don't know how I... Oh, crop distribution. Oh, oh. How have I not got this set up? Come on, auto save. Is there limited like connections or something? Oh, that's storage. What am I doing? Can I just like select this and then do it like this? Right click to manage. 
How am I not doing? What's going on? I mean, I can plot it all in there and then distribute it to where it needs to go to. I mean, that's the obvious thing. So chefs come and grab all the ingredients now. Now we can actually finally use these. So if I bring um, gang demands, oh no, oh no, oh no. So if I bring all the food to here, then use this to be distributed evenly through the other kitchens. We should see lots more foods being utilized. Uh, they're coming with some potatoes, coming with some uh, tomatoes and some bananas. This is This is good. So they can throw this on here, and it's like they didn't need to cook it, so we can distribute even more food. So it's shower time now. Oh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens now. For this meal time. Oh, okay, there's a riot underway. Where's the riot? Are these all waiting solitary or something? What's going on? I'm not too sure. But um, it's going to be eat time soon anyway. So they're going to get the food all out? It's all kicking off. Kicking off in various locations. Right, 77 was the number to beat. I don't know if we'll beat it this time because there's a few riots going off right now, so it might impact the amount of people who can go and actually have something to eat. So they're bringing all this stuff out right now. There's definitely a lot more food in this canteen than before. So we'll keep an eye on these numbers. But they have a nice variety of food. That's the that's the like the, the big change this time around. Definitely lo an abundance of food in this canteen. Um it's still down here as well. So it's a 63%. I don't feel like we're going to serve as many this time because there's quite a few punishments going down. Can I, uh, actions? What's going on here anyway? If you at least one secure door, it is behind one secure door. Something doesn't feel right in here. Yard. You are behind one secure door. What is your issue? I'll get all these back in and see what happens then. I wonder if that will change anything. I wonder if that will change anything. It might do. It might not. Who knows? Well, I ain't too sure what's going on right now in this. Could be the reason that they're all still shackled in their cells. Could be one of the main reasons. Why right, is this can? Oh, the canteen's done. The canteen is done, boys. So utilities. Um. Okay, let's pull it down from this one. Bring it straight up. 
straight across. And that's all I need to do. I've got to do the water. So that goes across to there. That goes across to there. These go across to there. And that is technically all you need to do. So food distribution. Okay, so that's handling some of the solitary, which is good. That's now handling... Uh, A lot of these side. okay so th yeah i'm happy with that distribution i'll be happy with that um just gotta g get this oh no i didn't mean to do that get this crop distribution all set up yeah yeah That'll be good. That'll be good right now. So even though we don't have the full shebang going on in here, we haven't got all the lights set up, the workmen should focus on getting this done very soon anyway. They don't have any food over here just yet to, to, to kind of do, but we're separating the amount of workforce right now and the amount of food that needs to be done. So we'll be okay here. Did they manage to eventually clean all these um, trays? No, they're still halfway through it. They've still got a long way to go. They're bringing some more dirty ones in. So, yeah. Uh, on the regime, we need to sort out this eat slash work time kind of thing. So, if I flip it around like this. So, at least some of the prisoners can help us out with the work. If I make this free time... Then back to... No. If I do it... Eight. Free time yard. That's too close together, isn't it? Some of the prisoners can help us, like, do the meals. So, two hour gap, three hour, four. Uh, two, sorry. I don't know if that will be a better idea or not. But we'll see. It's best to have it all as one big work block. In reality. So maybe I just maybe I don't do it on this one. But I do it on the other ones. That's how we'll do it. That's how we'll do it. So have we got the power and water over here yet? No, they haven't even attempted to start it yet, our workforce. What's going on, guys? Well, they got some food now being delivered. But they can't do anything because they can't cook anything. Work, man. What are you doing? Oh, okay. There's a big cleanup on R3 over here. Uh, open door. Oh, it's this issue again. There we go. That was the issue. That happens too often. I've got to change them doors. I'm going to have to, guys, because that is a big issue. That is a real big issue. So yeah, the workmen are now... I can see a load of them walking over here right now to start getting all this plumbing and stuff done. So we'll go into work mode again in just a moment where hopefully some of the guards... Not guards, sorry, prisoners would help out with the cooking. So it's almost like I got extra staff just before dinner time. So there's a couple on the way right now. He's coming in. So he's now going to help out by cooking. Which is good to see. 
Uh, I need to do the prison labor, get a couple working in here. Uh, guards are now placing down all the electrical and water supply stuff, which again will take some time. Um, I don't think they can cook while the power is off. So I don't know how this is going to play out. I don't really know. There's a lot of stuff to get stored. There's a lot of trucks that need to get out of here as well. <laughs> a lot of love letters going out there. Alright, let's go, boys. Get these trucks out of here. Oh, and it's currently eat time, by the way, as well. So a lot of these prisoners in here won't have anything to eat because this kitchen's not even set up yet. There's a lot of food over here available. And do we get this sorted over here? Still no. What is going on with this? Like seriously. How is this unsecure? We've sorted it out. I freaking sorted it out, mate. How is it no longer secure? Oh, it could be one of those things where you need to reload the game. You know those issues that you have? Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> God damn it, you fools. Um, but I'm gonna, I'll, I'll, I will do that next episode when we reload the game. I don't want to reload it just yet. So they've got the power now. They've got the water. We're all up and running on this canteen, which is good to see. Real good to see right now. It's quite exciting. So that will handle a lot of the distributions of the foods and whatnot. And uh, the jackals are going to demand some more stuff again very soon. But um, once I've sorted this out here, the danger level should decrease again. I feel like we've done quite a lot of um, stuff. We've got a lot of food that's ready to be distributed to kitchens and stuff like that. Which is really good, so... It is quite exciting. They've almost got through. I say they almost got through. I reckon they've done half of the backlog of all the dirty dishes. But they're definitely doing it. They're definitely getting there. It just is a very, very long time to get some stuff done. But guys, we're going to end it for here. I hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, smash the like button down below. And until next time, I see you soon. So, good. Night.